Can anyone guess what I'm going to make with a broken golf club? It's really lightweight. And there you have it, two bucks. We're going to start off by cutting off this end. You can use anything to cut it off. You could use that, you could use a hacksaw. I have this sitting here, so I'm just gonna grind it off. Well, I think that'll work. Next, we're gonna take this old paint roller that I found and we'll end up bending that straight so that we just have a hook. Um, but first, we need to kind of remove it out of this plastic housing. What should I use? Well, that's already sitting out here, so I'll do that too. So, what can we straighten this out with to get that bend out? We could use a hammer, but let's use a brick. Wow, that's pretty straight. That'll work. So we got epoxy. Okay, so we need to epoxy that into this. So epoxy comes with two separate tubes. You break off the end and you squirt it into a tray, you mix it, and then yeah, you can mix it with like this, that comes with it, and then you basically put it on whatever you want to secure, and you wait, and it tells you the set time on the back. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna apply it, try to apply it inside of this, and then we're gonna try to apply a little bit on the end of this, and then put it together. There we have it pretty much positioned the way we want it. We're going to have to wipe off that excess epoxy quickly, otherwise it's going to set and we're going to have big run marks. Okay, so I first made a loop and then I taped it onto the handle. And then I got some extra right here. And I'm just going to start wrapping around here and see kind of how it works. I don't know. There's tons of tutorials on how to wrap handles and whatnot. So you can get all sorts of designs. I'll leave that up to you kind of. You guys can decide. I did um, show how to do paracord wrapping in one of my other videos about a, a Hawaiian cage or uh, a Hawaiian gaff design. So you can watch that as well. In fact, I had to actually watch it in order to get some ideas because I had already forgotten how I wrapped the last one. Okay, to finish up the end so that it doesn't unravel, I made another loop right here. And I'm going to lay it right here and I'm going to start wrapping around it. And what that's going to do is, at the end, I'll be left with this tiny little space here in which I can take the tag end, stick it through the loop, and I pull on this end, and it will tuck the loop underneath itself. Okay, so I have wrapped it all the way to the end of the gap. Now what I need to do is I need to cut right about here because I'm going to pass this piece through this loop and then I'm gonna pull on this end of that loop and it will tuck this tag end inside underneath the wrap. So there's the paracord wrap. This here is the shaft of the golf club. That's our paint roller gaff end. Total, uh, build costs less than $10. And now 
Apparently I'm part of a pro staff team for Wilson Fishing. Do you think I voided the warranty? So sometimes when you think you have a great idea, it's too good to be true, and someone already beat you to it. That's the case with this build. It actually was brought to my attention that someone had already done it. So in the video description below this video, I'm going to have a link to the person's channel who also came up with this idea. I totally had this idea independent from this person's video, um, thus the differences, but I do feel that since this person did come up with a video that precedes mine, I should also show their video as well. So I have a link in the video description below. Please check it out.